Here the question is, in a system designed to work out the tax to be paid, an employee has 4,000 euros of salary tax-free. The next 1,500 is taxed at 10%. The next 28,000 after that is taxed at 22%. Any further amount is taxed at 40%. To the nearest whole pound, which of these is a valid boundary value analysis test case? And these are the options. To solve this question, first we have to draw a boundary value analysis diagram. And to do that, we need this data. As per the question, up to 4,000 the tax is free. So this is on boundary value. To find the next boundary, we need to read the second line. The next 1,500 is taxed at 10%. To find the next boundary, we need to add 4,000 and 1,500, which is 5,500. 55 is the next boundary. From 4,000 to 5,500, 10% tax lab is applicable. Now to find the next boundary, we have to read the third line. The next 28,000 after that is taxed at 22%. Now we have to add 5,500 and 28,000 to get the next boundary. 5,500 plus 28,000 is 33,500. 33,500 is the next boundary. From 5,500 to 33,500, the tax rate is 22%. Any further amount is taxed at 40%. That means above 33,500 is taxed at 40%. This is the boundary value diagram. The first option is 28,000. Let's first see where it fits in this diagram. 28,000 will come between 5,500 and 33,500. Let's analyze the next option, which is 1,500. 1,500 is less than 4,000, so it will come somewhere here. Next option is 32,001. 32,001 will come between 5,500 and 33,500. Now the last option is 33,501. And 33,501 is just one value more than 33,500. That means this is just at the boundary. Compared to all the other values, option D is near to the boundary. Therefore, option D is the answer.